Good morning. Today let's explore the fourth homage to Tata, homage to you who crown all Buddhas, whose action subdues without limit, attain to every perfection, on you the Bodhisattvas rely. First line, homage to you who crown all Buddhas. Obviously, this is a metaphor. And what that means is all Buddhas pay homage to Tara. Why is that? Because um, many of my fundamentalist teachers used to say that the synthesis of all Buddhas' wisdom is Mantra Shri, the synthesis of all Buddhas' compassion is Avodhakitishwara, the synthesis of all Buddhas' power is Vajrapani, but the synthesis of all Buddhas' action is grain tade. No one ever accomplished a tenth bodhisattva bhumi, full enlightenment, without taking action. Yes, we need to study, we need to know what's going on, but we need to act on that information. Uh, it's kind of like the old story about the doctor's prescription and the sick patient. No one ever got better by simply putting the doctor's prescription on the bedstand. You actually have to take the medicine. So, when we say in the first line that Grintade crowns all Buddhas, in other words, all liter metaphorically, all Buddhas pay homage to enlightened action by taking enlightened action. <laughs> And it's been my personal experience that um, by relying on green tata, it becomes easier and easier to both understand the long room and accomplish the long room. It becomes easier and easier to both um, practice Mahamudra and make it into a habit. Second line, whose action subdues without limit. In another text we'll explore at another time, it talks about Green Tade being the synthesis or the ultimate Dharma protector or Dharma Pala. So in other words, there was a wonderful movie in the 70s called My Bodyguard. Um, and basically this, this, this kid at school bartered uh, tutoring for protection with one of the tougher kids and that tough kid protected him. Well, it's good to know that, you know, if you've ever had an older sister, an older brother to look after you, that's pretty cool. Um, when I grew up, I, I actually was the older brother, but I had a friend who had older brothers, and I thought that was pretty cool. And um, I'm not alone in thinking that throughout the history of Tantric Buddhism, men and women have relied on Dharma protectors to um, have their back, so to speak third line, attained to every perfection. How did Green Tade become a Buddha? By mastering giving morality, patience, zeal, concentration, and wisdom. And by relying on her, we'll have greater success in doing likewise. On you, the Bodhisattvas rely. One of the cool things is that in, in, in the world of Tantric Buddhism, many people rely on Green Tati from every sect, which is really, really cool. Men, women, laymen, monastics, Nyingma, Gelug, Sakya, Kagyu, Rime, many people from every sect, which is pretty cool. So now let's recite the whole thing together. Homage to you who crown all Buddhas, whose action subdues without limit. Attain to every perfection on you the Bodhisattvas rely. And now let's chant using the bookend chant. Homage to you who crown all Buddhas, whose action subdues without limit. Attain to every perfection on you the Bodhisattvas rely. There you have it. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Remember to subscribe, and to like, and to share, and I'll see you at the next webinar. Until next we speak, may you and yours be healthy and happy. Um tade, tu tade, tu soha.